of God this morning. Thank you. 
join with the angels to worship the Lord. The
lordship. We proclaim your lordship. You reign. Hosanna in the highest. Heda bashidada. Hanama shakataya mosai. I want us to do something prophetic here this morning. Listen to me. We proclaim the Lordship of Jesus in PMI Thika Road. We proclaim the Lordship of Jesus in Lucky Summer. We proclaim the Lordship of Jesus in our places of work. We proclaim the Lordship of Jesus in our families. We stand this morning like Joshua and say, As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. We proclaim the Lordship of Jesus in our nation this morning. Hadaba. This is what I feel in my spirit. The word hallelujah. It has a prophetic meaning. Brother Noah, when I tell you hallelujah, you are not supposed to tell me amen. Hallelujah. Are you getting it? Yes. I want us to do something prophetic here with the word hallelujah. Hallelujah. The word hallelujah is a Hebrew word. Hallelujah. Meaning halal. Halal. And it means brag in the Lord. Amen. Did you hear that? The word hallelujah is a Hebrew word. The meaning of the word is brag. Make boast in the Lord. So when one Jew would meet another Jew and a Jew would say hallelujah, the other Jew would start bragging in the Lord. And Paul got that revelation and he says, if I should boast, then let me boast in this one thing that I know the Lord. So this morning I want us to brag in the Lord. And this is what we are going to do. Brother Noah, we are going to demonstrate. And then the audience will get us. I want when I say hallelujah, you start to make your boast in the Lord. He is my God. He is my deliverer. He is my conqueror. He is my exceeding reward. My he is the renewer of my strength. Beloved, Brother my Noah, hallelujah. Can you make strength. your boast in the Lord? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My salvation. Hallelujah. The righteous one. Hallelujah. The holy one of Hallelujah. He is my deliverer. Can you join us? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He is my reward. My exceeding reward. in the Lord. Yes. If you have any challenge this morning, I want you to mock your challenge. Oh. I want you to mock yes. your situation by breaking in the Lord. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run unto it and they yes. are saved. Yes. The Bible says the name of the Lord the writer of the psalm says, Mungu kwetu ni kimbilio na nguvu. Msaada utakao nekana wakati wa hitaji. Kama auna hitaji, hauta muona mungu. So, for the last time, we want to do it prophetically. We are going to take it as I say hallelujah. I want you to mention who God is to you. He is the rock of your salvation. He is the strength of your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
tocar In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We deprogram it in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We let the devil powerless. Yes. And we announce the kingdom of darkness. Yes. You are under arrest. Yes. And you have no place. In, in the name the of Jesus. Name Come on, somebody. Release fire again in the kingdom of this darkness. We we'll scatter the plans of evil. Forces we program every program of evil. Every in the name of, of Jesus. Every program of evil. Every right now, this morning. We arrest and let the power rest. In the name of Jesus. We arrest and let the power rest. In the name of Jesus. We are releasing the consuming fire. The fire of the Holy Ghost over this sanctuary. The fire of the Holy Ghost over this sanctuary. And arrest every scheme of the devil. Every plan of evil. We arrest right now. Shut up, 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 shut up
connected in the Messiah back to the center in the name of Jesus. We have the skills of darkness. We let the power rise. We arise and destroy everything of the devil in the name of Jesus. We let the power rise. 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 Every plan of the devil. Every scheme of the devil. We let the power rise this morning in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we are releasing fire of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, God arise and let the enemy be scattered. Yes. Let our God arise. Let Jesus every darkness bless. be scattered. We scatter every plan of let evil. God we scatter every plan of evil. We scatter every plan of evil. We scatter every plan of evil. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, we lift you high. We lift you high, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. In Genesis chapter number 8, Genesis chapter number 8, verse 4 and 5, Genesis 8, verse 4 and 5, Bless your name, Jesus. The Bible says in Genesis 8, verse 4, Then the ark lasted in the seventh month, the seventeenth day of the month, on the mountains of Ararat. And the waters decreased continually until the tenth month. Somebody say the tenth month. How many of us remember that this is the second day of the tenth month? The Bible says, and the water decreased continually until the tenth month. And in the tenth month, on the first day of the month, the tops of the mountains were seen. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. The Bible says on the seventh month, the ark rested. The ark rested. Whatever has been in trouble in your life, may it rest in the name of Jesus. Whatever has been troubling your spirit, may it come to rest in the name of Jesus. The ark rested in the seventh month. On the seventeenth day of the month, the ark rested on mountains of Ararat. May there be a mountain where you settle. May your ministry settle. May your marriage settle. May your business settle. I say may it settle. For the ark rested. May you have rest from that sickness. May you have rest from that battle. May you have rest in the name of Jesus. For on the seventh month, on the seventeenth day of the month, the ark rested. I release rest. I release rest. I release rest in every rest situation let there be rest let there be rest let there be rest in the name of Jesus and the Bible says in verse number five that on the tenth month on the tenth month the man that you're in right now before the tenth month something was happening I am not sure whether Noah understood what was happening, but something was happening continually. The Bible says the water decreased continually until the tenth month. There is something that has been happening in your life continually, continually, until this month, the tenth month. There is something that has been happening in this church continually, continually. There are some things that have been going down, going down, going down continually. And now we are in the tenth month. 
And the Bible says when it got to the 10th month, what was not seen began being seen. The water had covered the mountain. It had covered the trees. Everything was under the water. But on the 10th month, the mountain tops began to be seen. You begin to see something that you have desired to see. Noah and the people in the ark were asking, when will the water come down? But on the 10th month, there was a sign. There was a sign that you are about to settle. Be a my thicker road. You are settling on the 10th month. We are beginning to see the top of the mountain, daughter of the Lord in this house, son of God in this house. You are beginning to see the top of the mountain. There is something that God wants you to see in the month of October. I want you to prophesy to the month of October that you see the top of your mountain. Come on, every one of you, receive the prophetic grace and prophesy to your situation that on this month you begin to see the top of your mountain God will confirm to you that you are settling God will confirm to you that he has done it on this 10th month may you see something that will be a confirmation that God is changing things that the seasons are changing that the Lord is settling you prophesy to the month of October we have entered the last quarter of the year and we want to declare this last quarter will be greater than the rest of the quarters of the year 2022. The last quarter of the year 2022 will be greater in the name of Jesus. Masukaba Sandarabosa Makataraba Shandarabosa Rapase Katarabosa Makatarababosa Ripase Katarabosia Ripasa Katarabosa Makayandobosa Ripase Katabasanda Riparabo Shetamasa, Makusi Katabasa, Riparabo Shandabasa, Katarabo Sika, Ramayanda Basel, Ripaso Katabasanda, Kiema Sekatabo, Sharaba Katariba, Ripasanda Rabasa, Makatarabo Sia, Shereba Katarabosa, Ripasa Katamasa, Ropo Sekatarabasa, Rapasa Katamasoya, Rapo. Masana, yeah, she did the bosaka, rapa so katarira, riba so tori basa, katariba seka, rapa so kayanda, masika tarabasa, riba ndabasa, kaya masere, eh, she riba shana, raka tarabosa, riba seka tamasa, riba rababa bosa, riba seka tamasia, riba so katarabasa, rama seka tarabosa. I decree the beginning of the 10th month, the beginning of the 10th month, a change, a change of life, 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 in the name of Jesus, Makabaya Nobusia, Reparabasaka, Rapasoka Tamasa, Rebaseke Terebosa, Shakaya Doribasa, Ramaso Katarabasa, Reba Katarabasana, Reba Paso Katabasa, Reba Seketerebosa, Reba Mama Mamo Sheketerebosa, Mama Mama Mamo Sheketerebo, Shakarabasa. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be the name of Jesus. We bless your name, Jesus. On the tenth month, the mountain top began to be seen. Began to be seen. What could not be seen began to be seen. What has been covered may it be uncovered now. May it be uncovered now. May there be a sign of hope. May there be a sign of hope over your life on this 10th month in the name of Jesus. On this 10th month in the name of Jesus. This is your month. This is your month. This is your month. This is your month. It is the 10th month. 
Reba kata baseke tebusa, robo sheka tarabasa, makata rababusa. Just take a minute and speak to the last quarter of the year 2022. I don't know what you have been trusting God for, but in this last quarter of the year, may you call it to manifestation. May you trust God that that which you are waiting for, it is coming forth in this last quarter of the year in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, we thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Noah, you are settling, you are settling. It is the tenth month, and you are settling. The seasons are changing. The waters are residing. Hallelujah. Sharaba katori baza. Makazekiti bazanda. Yes, the waters are residing. Whatever has been troubling you is coming to a net now. It is coming to a net now. In the name of Jesus. Whatever, whatever, whatever it has been, we command it now to come to an end in the name of Jesus. Let the waters now recite, 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 recite in the name of Jesus. Whatever has been troubling your life, in the name of Jesus. Whatever has been troubling your life, that which have made you become unsettled, we crush it by the head. We crush it by the head. You serpent spirit, we crush your head. We crush your head. Serpent spirit, we crush your head. We crush your head. We crush your head. Yes! We release the power of God over this life and declare. We declare today is the day of your freedom. This is the hour of your freedom. The captivity is broken. That which has been troubling your heart and mind, we crush it in the name of Jesus. Be set free. 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 Azoka, just keep us standing. In the name of Jesus. Be set free. I break the captivity in the name of Jesus. I break the captivity in the name of Jesus. Yes, by the anointing of the Lord and by the blood of Jesus, every captivity be broken. Every captivity be broken. Every captivity be broken. Every captivity be broken. Captivity be broken. Captivity be broken. Yes. Satan, I command you to lose her. In the name of Jesus. I command you to lose her. I command you to lose her. In the name of Jesus. Your time is over. Your time is over. Your time is over. In the name of Your Jesus. time is over. The captivity is broken. In the name of Jesus. Yes. In we the lose name you of Jesus. from the captivity in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Mazoka Tabazanda. Lord, you broke the chains. The ark will settle. 
Your life is shattering. Your life is shattering. Your life is shattering today. We are permanently shattering your spirit. We are permanently shattering your life. Your ministry is settling today. Your ministry is settling today. Your ministry is settling today. You will settle in your mother's house. You will settle in your mother's house. The spirits that have been pushing you away from your mother, we arrest and destroy them today. We arrest and destroy them today. Yes. We speak the word of God. Healing over your life. Wholeness. Wholeness. Yes. Wholeness. Yes. Wholeness. Yes. Receive wholeness of mind. The name of Jesus. Wholeness of spirit. The name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, thank you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Pastor, yes. the Lord is just laying a song in my heart. Mm -hmm. As we hold this sister, may every chain be broken at the sound of the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You have broken the chains and set the captives free. Oh, the enemies abound. They tremble at the sound of your name. You Thank you, Jesus. I want us to pray with this young man, Kevin. He says he has not been in church for over two years. And today he wants to surrender his life to Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. me Kevin can you say after me Lord Jesus today I repent of my sin today I welcome you into my life to be my Lord and my Savior from this day I'm born again I'm a child of God in Jesus name I rise against Every work of evil into my life. And I command you, Satan, get out of my life. I am a child of God. And I shall live to glorify God. In Jesus' name. Let's stretch our hands towards Kevin in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you today. We release your power and anointing over this young man. Father, thank you for saving his life. And now, my God, every captivity over his life, let it be broken today. Let it be broken today in the name of Jesus. Every captivity over his life, we command it to be broken in the name of Jesus. You spirit of evil, depart from him. 
depart from him depart from his life we release the anointing of God and we call forth for deliverance of the mind the deliverance of his soul and spirit we release the power of God against every kingdom of darkness and we lose him to serve the purposes of the living God every spirit that was following his life he commanded to live and depart from his life in the name of Jesus father we thank you father we bless you for it is well with Kevin he will serve the purpose of God and it's well with his life we declare transformation from this hour total turnaround over his life it is the 10th month the second day and let the water come down let the waters that have been engulfing his life come down and Lord let the mountains of his life begin to be seen in the name of Jesus Christ you are blessed in the name of Jesus can we pray with this lady come I want some ashes here please some ashes here can you pray this prayer after me can you say Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus today, today I will come you into my life save me today make me your daughter I break loose I break loose from every influence from every from the kingdom of darkness in the kingdom of the darkness from the kingdom of darkness from the kingdom of the darkness and from today from today I will serve I will serve the living God. The living God. You Satan. You Satan. Lose my life. Lose my life. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I am a daughter of God. I'm the daughter of the God. I am a daughter of God. I'm the daughter of the God. I'm a daughter of God. I'm the daughter of the God. Mm -mm. Say it like I'm saying it. I am the daughter of God. I'm the daughter of Yes, say I'm the daughter of God. I'm the daughter of God. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Father, we thank you. Father, we bless you for your power and anointing to break loose captivity. I command the power of God against the kingdom of darkness in the name of Jesus Christ. I command destruction to the kingdom of darkness and by this confession and by power and authority in the name of Jesus, I lose this daughter from the kingdom of darkness. I lose her soul from the kingdom of darkness. I lose her soul from the kingdom of darkness. I lose her soul from demonic powers in the name of Jesus. Father, thank you for the power to set the captive free. We lose her from captivity. We lose her from captivity and we release the power of God over her life and we declare from today she will no longer serve the altars of darkness. We disconnect you from the altars of darkness. We disconnect you from the altars of darkness. We disconnect you from the altars of darkness. Yes. The anointing of God has set the captive free. 
Let it rest over your life now. Breaking every captivity. Breaking every captivity. Breaking every captivity. Breaking every captivity. Set her out of her. Out of her. Out of her. Out of her life. Out of her life. Out of her. Out of her life. Get out. Set her. Get out of her. I break your pressure. 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 Yes, every stronghold. Break under the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Every oppression break. Every oppression break. Every oppression break. Be free. Be free. In the name of Jesus. Father. Thank you for the power to set Thank the you, captive Lord. free. Thank you, Lord. And this lady, as she has come to this altar today, yes, Lord. Let this the tenth month, the second day of the tenth month, yes, Lord, become the day of her life. As you deliver her fully from the kingdom of darkness and from satanic oppressions, we cut short. The missions of evil we cut short the missions of evil we render powerless the missions of darkness yes. over her life and over this ministry whatever was said to do we demolish it totally we demolish it totally in the name of Jesus yes we declare freedom, 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 freedom. Devil, you are a liar and you are a loser. You have lost the battle on this altar. You have lost the battle this morning. You have lost the battle. Your finger is broken. Your finger is broken. The finger pointing this altar is broken in the name of Jesus. Father, from today we declare this daughter, a daughter of the high most God. We release her from this hour to serve the purposes of God. The purposes of God. The one true God. The God of Israel. The almighty God. Father, thank you. For your freedom in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Every demonic oppression of a heron's life. We break it. We lose heron from captivity. You spirit from the sea lose your power of her life. Spirits from the sea, we command you to lose your power of her life. In the name of Jesus, we lose her to serve the purposes of God. Spirit of confusion out of her life spirit of confusion out 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 of her spirit of confusion out of her life out yes get out spirit of confusion get out of her out out in the name of Jesus Every oppression over your life today, we break it fully and we lose your life to serve the purposes of God. We lose your life to serve the purposes of God. Spirit of rejection, you have no power of her life. Spirit of rejection, you have no power of her life. We break your backbone. We break your backbone. 
We break your backbone. We break your backbone. We break your backbone. We break your backbone. We break your backbone. We break your backbone. Out. Out of her. Out of her. Out. Out. In the name of Jesus. Get out of her. Rejection out. Rejection out. Rejection out. We command you to bow now and leave her. Bow and leave her. 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 Out. 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 Out in the name of Jesus. Out in the name of Jesus. Out in the name of Jesus. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Out of her. In the name of Jesus. Just declare freedom over her life. Together we declare the oppression is over. Just get into prayer and declare. No longer. No longer. No longer will she operate under captivity. No longer will she operate under captivity. That captivity is broken this morning. That captivity is broken this morning. We lose her from that captivity. Come on, somebody just declare freedom. Freedom of her life. Freedom. 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 Freedom of her life. In the name of Jesus. I'm no longer a slave.
we thank you for this morning. We thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you for your grace to set the captive free. We thank you for your anointing to release them who have been under the captivity of the devil. And Father, we decree that all the captivities are broken and God's people by the power that is in the name of Jesus and by the blood of Jesus are set free from captivity. Redeemer Father, thank you for this service and thank you also for your word. Thank you for what you're about to do in this meeting. Let the grace and the anointing of the word be released this morning in a special way that these men and women may hear you speak to them and let them find grace and strength from your word. We thank you for you have anointed your word to build us, to rebuke us, to transform us. And we pray that that, that word that you have released today do exactly that this morning in Jesus' name. We can give the Lord a shout of praise as we take our seats. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Let's take our seats. Thank you, worship team. You can also take your blessed seats. We're in Joshua chapter number 15 and we'll share a message entitled Kareb, Othniel, and Akisha. Simply we'll share a message on those three names. We pick some prayer lessons from this man, and I believe the Lord will bless us. Kareb, Othniel, and Akisha is our topic this morning as we look into Joshua chapter number 15, and we are going to read verse 13 to 19. Let's get to Joshua chapter 15, verse 13 to 19. And the Bible says, Joshua chapter 15, verse 13 to 19, the word of God says, Now to Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, he gave a share, <coughs> sorry, among the children of Judah, according to the commandment of the Lord to Joshua, namely Kajath Abba, which is Hebron. Abba was the father of Anak. Kareb drove out the three sons of Anak from there. Seshai, Ahiman, and Talmai, the children of Anak. Verse 15. Then he went up from there to the inhabitants of Dibal. Formerly the name of Dibal was Kajath Sefa. Kajath Sephal, verse 16. And Kareb said, He who attacks Kajath Sephal and takes it, to him I'll give Akisha, my daughter, as wife. So Othniel, the son of Kenaz, the brother of Kareb, took it. And he gave him Akisha, his daughter, as wife. Verse 18. Now it was so, when she came to him, that she persuaded him to ask her father, to ask her father for a field. So she dismounted from her donkey, and Caleb said to her, What do you wish? Verse 19, and our last verse. She answered, Give me a blessing. Give me a blessing. Since you have given me land in the south, give me also springs of water. So he gave her the upper springs and the lower springs. Praise the Lord. And that is the word of God. Amen. Our chapter number 15 of the book of Joshua is a chapter, or rather, let's, let's talk of chapter 15 to chapter 22 of the book of Joshua. These are the chapters that describes the allotment of the territories to the different tribes of Israel. From chapter 15 down to chapter 22, we'll see 
each tribe being allocated their portion, clan by clan, and it is recorded there in the book of Joshua, who took which part, how far it extended from where to where, and how uh, the land was subdivided after conquering it. So chapter 15 to 22, we can call them the chapters of allotment of territories. Amen. Now specifically chapter 15, I goes down to help us understand the territories that were located to the tribe of Judah. The territories that were located to the tribe of Judah. And it's broken down clan by clan. The portion that was given to this clan, the portion that was given to this other clan. The land is described in a way that you can see like it's a map that is being drawn for you. For you to be able to understand where the children of Israel and specifically the tribe of Judah were allocated territories. Praise the name of Jesus. And from that chapter and from the many verses in that chapter, we can raise a prayer. And we can pray that the Lord will help us to possess whatever is earmarked for us. Amen. I pray that the Lord will help you possess whatever is marked for you. The people of Judah had the land that was marked for them. And it was given to them. There was a portion of the land that was meant to be taken by the tribe of Judah. I believe there is a portion of blessing that belongs to someone seated here today. May you locate your, pos your, your possession. May you ro locate your territory. That which is assigned for you. Amen. There are those of us who have been allocated a certain field of business. You have a territory in a certain kind of business. Not all of us can succeed in Mutuba business. There are people who have succeeded in Mutuba business because that is their territory. There are others who have gone into the same and they have failed terribly because that was not their territory. Praise the name of Jesus. There are people who have gone into Uber business and they have succeeded. They have now fleets of car. They are moving now to Uber to other businesses. Uber became a seed for their success. Why? They got to understand the territories allocated to them. I pray that God shall open your eyes to get to know the territory that is marked for you. There is a territory for you. There is a territory for your children. May God open your eyes in the name of Jesus. Amen. And may you possess your territory. You know, it was marked for them. But it's up to this time. When Joshua is coming up now and he's telling them, and you tribe of Judah, this is what belongs to you. May you possess that which is yours in the name of Jesus Christ. As we get to this last quarter of the year, may the Lord help you to get that which is assigned you in the name of Jesus Christ. If we can just quickly run through a few verses, you can give us uh, verse 2 to verse number 5. We see just a few description of the land. Somebody can read for me. What does the Bible say? Somebody to read. Somebody to read. Hakuna mtu akusoma? Aha. The bay that faces south. I want you to see that their southern border began. There was a border on the southern part. Amen. There was a border on the southern part that began at the salt sea. I have continue, Max. To the southern side of the accent of Akrabin. It began, then it went out. Continue. Passed along to Zin. Ukapita passed along to Zim. Uh -huh. Continue. Ascended on the south side of Kadesh Banea. Tena ukapanda. Unaskei ida manano inatumika pale. Ascended to the, on the south side of Kadesh Banea. What else? Passed along to Hezron. Then it passed along to Hezron. Ikapita. Uh -huh. Went up to Ada. Mm -hmm. And went around to Karka. Praise the name of the Lord. Mpaka ikapita huko kuna itwa kaka, huko kuna kaka kama saidi ya kitui. Aha, let's continue reading verse 4. From there it passed toward Asmon. 
uh-huh. and went out to the brook of Egypt. Paka the brook of what? Egypt. Mahali kuna maji, mahali kuna vizima, uh-huh. And the border ended at the sea. Na mpaka wake, yani mwisho wa shamba yake ilikuwa bahari. For is the name of the Lord. Up to the end. Yani mpaka yake ilikuwa bahari. Kumaanisha kama nikusikia breeze. The tribe of Judah ilikuwa inapokea breeze from the sea. Kama ni tourist attraction sites zilikuwa zinapatikana kwa the tribe of Judah. Aha, uh-huh. let's continue. This shall be your southern border. This shall be what? Your southern border. Uh, there are also other borders. Hiyo ilikuwa south. Tulikuwa tuna deal na southern border. Let's see another border. The east border. Now we are on the east border. Aha. Uh-huh. the salt sea mm-hmm. as far as the mouth of the Jordan. Mm. And the border on the northern quarter began at the bay of the sea at the mouth of the Jordan. Unaona vile description ya shamba iko? Ni sea Jordan Brook very nice land praise the name of Jesus jump to verse number 12 verse number 12 uh-huh. lead, lead with us marks the west border was the coastline of the great sea at the west border was what the, the coastline, coastline of the great sea huyu mtu alikuwa na shamba nzuri aha This is the boundary of the children of Judah all around according to their families. And the border was all around according to their clan, according to their families. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. If you can look at the scripture that you have read you hear southern border, eastern border, northern border, western border, every side was covered. I want to make a prayer with someone today. May your boundary extend to all the sides like it was with the children of Israel. Amen. May you go to the southern side. May you extend to the eastern side. May you expand to the northern side and may you go down even to the western side. Amen. So your business can expand to any side. Your influence can expand. Your ministry is not limited to Lakisama. Your ministry can touch the entire nation. It can touch all the counties. It can touch the entire of Africa, the entire of the globe. May that which God has put in your hands expand on all sides in the name of Jesus Christ. Looking again at what we have learned this morning about this land of the people of Judah. We hear mention of different geographical features. Simeskia, the sea, the valley, the brooks, the mountains, and even towns and cities. And that reminds me of a scripture in the book of Psalm 16 verse number 6. I want us to look at that scripture. I know we have read it here some other time, but I want you now to read it as a child of God and read it with understanding and make it your scripture. Unajua kuna scripture ya Bible na kuna scripture yako. You can make this your scripture. You can make this your word. Isikaange kwa Bible ikaange kwa maisha yako iwe ina reflect in your life One, two, three, go can we read the word together the bible says the lines have fallen to me in prison places yes i have a good inheritance praise the name of the lord yani my portions my allotment has fallen on prison places mahali ambapo ni pangu si mahali popote hivyo tu ni present place hallelujah may the lord cause your lines to fall on present areas bwana yesu asifiwe sana daughters are, are trusting god to be married don't just be married anywhere may your line of marriage fall on present place fall in the hands of a present man on a present family Praise the name of the Lord. Business people that are here, your next investment, may it not just be any kind of investment. May it fall on the present places of business. Hallelujah. Watumishwa Mungu tulio hapa, may your ministry find itself falling on present places. Bwana akupatie mahali pazuri. Amen. Maisha yako ikuwe mahali pazuri. Even physical inheritance when your father is calling you home 
to allocate the different inheritance. May your inheritance fall on the present places. Amen. Baba akitana, kuna watoto wengine, baba anasamanga na huyu, kando na hii, ile ingine iko pale, ama ile shamba ingine ya pande ile ingine, iyo ni yake. Na hiyo unapewa, is a land that falls on a present place. May that become your portion in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, today we are just trying to look at um, these three key characters here. Um, we have very limited time, but we thank God for the three characters, Kareb, Othniel, and Akisha. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, we know Kareb. We have been talking about him, right? We know this man. We talked of who he was, whose son he was he, of his exploit. We have talked about them. But there is another man that we are getting introduced to today, and his name is Othniel. Can you say Othniel? the next child that is coming. Praise the name of the Lord. Unapata jina mzuri na maana na jina ina ufunuo. Wengine ile majina mmepea watoto jameni. Bwana wahurumie tu. Kuna a tribe that I know that names the living and another tribe names the dead. <laughs> May the Lord give you a name that has life. A name that has an impact. By the way, have you realized names are powerful? Where I come from, there is an interesting name. Kuna jina inaito wanjohi. Wapombe. Wanjohi. Na wanjohi, wanamuka na njohi. They look like their names. I don't know who advised their parents to give them this name. But I pray you will not be a wanjohi today. Now, we have Kareb, we have Othniel, and then we have an interesting girl there called Akisha. How do we pronounce that name? Aksha. Huh? Asha. How do you pronounce it? Sasa hapa ndiyo tunajua when you alienda group of school na wadu alienda DEB. But zote tulienda shule, sindio? Zote tulisoma. Na wee, shida si wewe ni mwalimu wako. Sindio? Walimu buwana wasaidia. Now, to the, to the scripture that we read, Joshua 15 verse 13, we just look at the scripture very quickly. We pick a few things there and I trust we'll be blessed. The Bible says in verse number 13 that now Caleb the son of Jephna, he gave a share among the children of Judah according to the commandment of the Lord to Joshua. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Kama vile Mungu alikuwa ameahidi Joshua afanye through Moses. Wakati ulipofika, remember Caleb stood and akasema na sehemu yangu nipewe, mnakumbuka. Vile tulikuwa tumeagana na mnakumbuka kile niliahidiwa. As it was commanded, Caleb received the portion that was assigned to him and that was great. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. And I pray again, may you not miss your portion. May you not miss the portion of blessings that is meant for you. Caleb did not miss his portion. As it was commanded, he received it. Just as the Lord promised you, may you receive your portion. As the word of God spoke into your life, may that word become a reality over your life in the name of Jesus Christ. As it was spoken through the mouth of a prophet, a prophetic word was spoken over your life, may it become a reality. As you went to the place of prayer and you laid hands on your head and you said, so it shall be upon my life as God has said it, may it become to pass in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So Caleb did not miss what was assigned him. And the land that was given to him, we know it now, it's called Hebron, sorry. Mount Hebron is the mountain that was given to Caleb. And anyone like Caleb would have gotten so excited to get such a portion of the land. But listen to the next verse. The next verse tells us he was a portion of the land, but there was some work to do. What does the Bible say in verse 14? Read with me. The Bible says, Caleb drove out 
the three sons of Anak. You remember the Anakites? These are the people who made the ten spies. Say who kwa tuendi? The Anakites. When they saw the Anakites in the land, they said that land is full of giants. These are the men that they had seen in the land. Now, Caleb drove out who? The three sons of the Anakites. And their, their names are given there. Who and who? Sheshai, Ahiman, and Talmai. Sheshai, Ahiman, and Talmai. All were the children of Anak. They were all giants. But I bless God for one thing. Caleb, by faith in God and by engaging by faith, he drove them out from the land. We can make a prayer from there. May the Lord enable you to drive out the giants that are seated on your territories. All giants that are seated on your land. May God give you a grace and an anointing to drive them out. Amen. If there is a giant sitting on your health, Kapepo kana kukalianga hapo ka ugonjwa fulani na daktari amekapea jina. That ka giant. May God give you grace to drive it out of your life. Amen. Kuna kashida kengine kanaitangwa umaskini. Wewe kila saa unaishi mwezi kona. Hata pesa yako haijawahi tosha na itoshangi. Na ujwangi nini kinafanyika by the time kama sasa wamekuwekea mshahara saa hii. Lakini by date 6 umeanza kukopa fare by date 6 na sahi mshahara iko kwa account <laughs> praise the name of the lord may the lord give you the grace and anointing to drive out that spirit from your territory in the name of jesus there could be some people here who have been given a spirit that keep them moving around roitering and moving around not making any progress they are stuck somewhere I pray today by the anointing of the Lord. May God give you grace to drive that giant out of your life. The giant that has sat on your family, you can drive them out. Caleb did not deal with one. We are told a shy, a himan, and talmai. Sileo unemu ya giant. Na useme katika jina la yesu. Na kwa neno la mungu na nguvu ambazo tumepewa na mamlaka. This giant, I'm driving them out of my life. If he's a giant of sin, Rust has been sitting on you. You find yourself captive of lust. You can speak to this giant and tell it, by the anointing of God and by the word of God, I command you out of my life. Praise the name of the Lord. There are things you don't like about your life, but you just find yourself engaging in those things. They can look like a giant, but by the anointing of God, you can drive them out. I pray today that the Lord will give you grace to drive out those giants from your territories. Because there are territories that God has given you, but there are some giants. There is no way Caleb would have settled in that land and enjoy his stay with the giants in the land. The giants have to go. And I want to say this as a man of God. You will not enjoy the blessings God has for you until the giant leaves your life. Until those giants leave your territory. Baadhi yetu wapa wanafaa kuwa mbali sana katika maisha. Lakini kuna tuseshai, ahiman, talmai, tumewazunguka kwa teritore yao. Wanasemanga hii i mwezi, hii mwezi nitafunga, nitaomba. Hehe, wacha ifika hile siku walisema watafunga. Hawajui appetite inatokanga wapi. Nasema, this, this time round, I want to honor God with my time. This time, sichezi, paka naza kuipanga vizuri time. Ikifika end month, mshara imeingia. Hata ajuangi kumeenda aje. Anasema next month. Next month. Then next month. May that giant be driven away from your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, it's so important for you to see verse number 15. It would have been easy for Caleb after taking over, driving the giants and occupying the land just to settle. But look at Caleb. Verse 15, what does the Bible say? After receiving Hebron. Caleb did not settle like many of us. What did he do? Lead with me. He went up from there, from Hebron. He has conquered. He has driven the giants. He's, he has occupied the land. But it's not yet settled. He moved on. He went up. Where did he go? Let's read again. He went up from there to 
inhabitants hakuwa naenda mahali hakuna watu akaenda kwa inhabitants of dibal and that place was normally known as kijath safe or safa or it all depends again with your with your teacher i want also to make a prayer for you and for myself may you not settle for anything less than what god is able to give to you may you not settle for less than what you can achieve it would have been easy for Caleb to say i'm old i'm 85 i have fought i've drove the jan let me settle but Caleb did not settle he pushed further and he saw a land and the land had inhabitants the problem with many of us we want a plain land ni disemba hapa last week no last week but one there is no land no territory that is ever empty never na nikasema jaribu hapa saa hii kuja chapa mabati hapa kwa ishimo hapa chini ati kwa sababu ni shimo naona hapa ni shimo na ni kama hapa hakuna mtu kuja chapa mabati hapo ndio utajua kuna mwenyewe praise the name of the lord hapo karibu na mahali unakaa sema ah nimekaa hapa 10 years na sijaiona mtu akiingia kwa hii plot wacha ni mwaga roli ya mawe jaribu no territory is ever vacant god is teaching us here my family to understand don't be hindered by inhabitants in the land don't be hindered by the giants usiseme hiyo kazi siwezi fanya ati kona watu wengi mm usiseme hiyo ofisi huwezi pata kazi ati huko watu hapatangi kazi huko hata lazima uko unajua sijui nani unajua nani na nani mm the inhabitants but the lord want you to drive them out amen now Caleb spotted the land of Dibal but i love the heart of Caleb he understand that is growing old and he says hii mambo ya vita nimezeeka na nimepigana vita nyingi but i want also to groom someone else into this thing i want to groom someone else in the territory taking uh, adventures verse number 16 as we come to the end can you read with me what did Caleb say and Caleb said he who attacks Kajas Sefa and takes it to him I'll give Akisha my daughter as wife ah napenda huu mzee akasema i want to groom somebody i want to mentor someone but not just anybody i want a man of courage i want a man who has the spirit that like the one i have a spirit of warfare a spirit of taking territories and he said this is the thing hii kitu nimeweka open Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Hii kitu nimeweka open kwa kila mtu. Anybody is a candidate. But the man who attacks. Can you say attacks? Some territories will never be given until you attack. Amen. You have to learn to attack territories. The man who attacks this territory and not just attack because you can attack and retreat. But the man that attacks and takes it over. The man who take over that territory I'm giving him a gift of my daughter for a wife. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Kuna vitu zinapeangwa tu maattackers. Kuna vitu zinapeangwa watu wenye wana drive out the inhabitants of Dibal. Kumbe kuna vijana wanaweza kuwa hawajai oa kwa sababu wamekataa ku attack. Vijana oye. Hallelujah. Mtu anasema tu muniweke kwa maombi. Na tuna ukweli tunamweka kwa maombi lakini amekataa ku attack. Basi attack. Siangalie kijana mwambie imagine wanakuongelea wewe ni wewe attack. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. Attack, drive out. And there will be a daughter for you for marriage. Praise the name of. Nasiko ni naangalia pande hii. Hii message ni kama ni ya pande hii. Amen. Next time unaenda kesha, enda kesha na message ya attack. This is an attacking night. We are attacking and you are driving out. Yeye yote anajaribu kumkaribia. I'm driving out. Okay. Hiyo ni siku ya kesha. Attack and take over. And as you do that, if you do that, Caleb says, that man, I'll give him my daughter for marriage. I want to ask, is there a man that is ready to attack in our midst? Is there a woman that is daring to attack 
and take your position, take your territory. Caleb is saying, I need this, but this time I'm not going around. I want to groom somebody. I want to recruit someone to capture this thing that we may take the spirit of capturing territories. I pray that the Lord will send your way some men like Caleb that will say, I've been looking for a man like you. I've been looking for a woman like you who can go out. I bless the name of the Lord for the next verse. Verse 17. Verse 17. What does the Bible say? Read with me. So, Othniel, the son of Kenas, the brother of Caleb, did what? Did what? Daniel is a Caleb is a Nikuatak. Naku take over. He went for it. Othniel took it. And what did happen next? What happened next? And he gave him Akisha, his daughter, as a wife. Jama ange ishibira wife. Kama ange kubali kuatak. Lakini resi kuwa riskia wadi ya mze. Na haka get into warfare. Haka attack. Na kulikuwa na majama wengi. Walikuwa wengi. Wase? Walikuwa wengi. Lakini umse ali stand out. Haka sema tuko wengi hapa. But hii kitu ninaiendea and he fought. I'm sure it was not easy because the Bible says there are inhabitants in the land. But he pushed the inhabitants. He fought them and he took over the land. He took over the territory. And Caleb said, you have done it, son. Get this girl for your wife. What a blessing. Amen? So what did Othniel get? He got a territory and he got a wife. Is that not double blessing? May God bring you to a point where you'll get double and even triple blessings in the name of Jesus Christ. But for them to come, tell your neighbor you need to be ready to attack. Amen. Are you seeing somewhere that you need to attack? Yeah? Kuna mahali. Unaitaji upata nguvu. Attack. And God shall be able to give over that territory to you. I am praying mungu wa kutumie kareb. Mzee ata kuchokoza. Minafikiri hodhi ni yalali chokozwa. Ile siku mzee alitana mkutano. Na kumuka ile story ya wale wajama. Wali ito kwa mfalme. Na walitamani wa muoe binti ya mfalme maana alikuwa mrembo sana. Na kulikuwa ngumu sana kupata mrembo kama huo. Na kufika kwa mfalme. Na siku moja mzee akasema sasa ni mejaribu kuona nani naeza kuwaga. Mchana wangu sijaona. Mzee akasema siku fulani vijana wote tukutane hapa. Every candidate let's come to my home. Akawaita vijana wakasema na kumuka ile story. Vijana wakakuja wakasanyika pale. Then mzee akawambia, let me take you for a tour of my home. Akawapeleka kwa pool, ilikuwa nyumba, nyuma ya boma hapo. And the pool was full of crocodiles. And mzee said, is there any man who want to marry my daughter? The first one to get out of this, to get into this pool and get out on the other end, will get my daughter for a wife. Majama wakaangaliana. Wakianza kurudi nyuma, jamaa moja akaingia kwa maji chui. Na kabla wajua katokea the other side. And the guy was given the daughter for a wife, the daughter of the king. But before then, a small interview was conducted and he was asked, "Hey, you are a strong man. You are a man of courage. How 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 did you even do this?" The man said, "Mzee, wacha tu niseme ukweli. Ada mimi sijui." Ni mtu fulani tu wakati tulikuwa tunasukumana hapa alinisukuma. So ni kusukuma ni risukuma. Naomba Mungu akupatie mtu wa kukusukuma. Bwana Yesu asiwe sana. Mungu akupatie mtu wa kukufanya nini? Kukusukuma. Kama Kareb mwenye anakusukuma maana kuna territory ilikuwa na inhabitants. Na Kareb alikuwa anahitaji. Lakini vijana wako hapo tu wanaregarega tu hakuna job Kenya. Kenya hakuna job. Pata tu Kareb fulani akusukume na kibusiness idea. Uamuke. Praise the name of the Lord. May God send you a carib in the name of Jesus. Now, something also interesting happens. After this man has taken the land and is given the wife, something happens. Let's read the next verse. Hmm. The Bible says, So it was when she came to him that she persuaded him to ask her father for a field. Sasa tunaintroduziwa kwa mtu anaito Aksha. 
Aksha ameshaolewa. Si vita imeisha na shamba amepewa na kijana amepewa wife. Walipotoka honeymoon. Akisha akaambia Othniel, my husband. Dadi alifanya vizuri. Ametupatia shamba. Na ulifanya vizuri ukapigana mpaka tukapata shamba. Lakini kuna kitu na feel. Hii shamba haitutoshi. Baba alitupatia shamba nzuri lakini kuna kitu imekosa. Haina maji ya kutosha. They were given the land in the side of Negev. And even from history Negev is a dry place. So wakatazama kile wamepewa na wakasema mm, Let's go back to mzee. Akisha akamwambia mzee akamwambia Othniel, let's go to dad. You go, you are now mnaelewana nyinyi watu wa vita, mnapigananga vita, ulifanya moyo wa dadi ukafurahi, siende kwa dadi umwambie akupatie shamba ingine yenye iko na maji. Sasa so imagine young men that are here and the married men that are here. Wife anakusukuma. Kwa ule mzee alikusukuma. Anakusukuma tena huko. Sasa ukienda this time kujua utaambiwa ufanye nini? Remember the first time alimwambia the man who shall attack and possess that man I shall give my daughter. This time again Akisha says whatever was given to us is not enough. I pray that you may get this kind of women in this ministry. This kind of women in this church. Women that says there is still more. This is not enough. There is still something better than this. We can do things better. Women who can challenge their husbands. Akisha is challenging Othniel. Enda kwa mzee. And looking at the scriptures, I like looking at the scripture and analyzing them. Looking at the scripture, something happened. It's like Othniel was not ready to go. Unaona hiyo kwa scriptures? It's like he was not ready to go. Akisha amemsukuma lakini ni kama anaogopa. Then what does the Bible say? So she dismounted from her donkey. Nilikuwa nasoma commentary fulani inasema hiyo word dismount hata imewekwa kwa lugha rahisi kidogo. Inasema hiyo word ile word inatumika ya Kiebrania inamaanisha kushuka yani kushuka ile kama mshare, kushuka na speed. Akisha alipoona it's like this man is not ready to go. Alishuka kwa punda. Na babake alipoona vile huo msichana ameshuka akajua hapa kuna mambo. Unajua kuna style hata pale kwa ofisi kuna venye naonanga mtu ameingia najua hapa goja sasa. Ukiona tu ile style ameingia nayo gojea. Sasa Akisha alishuka na style ya namna hiyo. Mzee akaangalia hivi akasema there must be something here. What is it that you want my daughter? Kuna vitu unatishia mzee na mpaka sema tu kile unataka. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. As she got off her donkey, Kareba kaangalia msichana ile speed yako nayo na vile ameshuka akajua kuna kitu. Akamuuliza, "What is the matter, my daughter?" And then she placed a prayer. Akasema, "Give me a blessing. Since you have given me land in the south, give me also springs of water." Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Na shukuru umenipatia shamba nzuri lakini naomba pia baba give me springs of water and the bible says what so he gave her the upper springs and the lower springs aliuliza too much lakini baba was gracious enough this man Kareb akampatia both the upper and the lower springs how do i pray that the lord will raise and hear me church visionary courageous women in our midst like akisha amen visionary and courageous women like akisha it is not ordinary when you are you know when i shamba ya maji it is akisha i pray that god may give you the courage of akisha ladies that are here i'm praying over your life that god will give you that grace to say there is something else my husband wanaeso swe sana Unaweza ona ile kamshara mzee anapata na vile mnajipanga panga umwambia mzee wangu nafikiri kuna kabiashara fulani hata ukiniona tu hivi ukikubali tu wewe unaniachia ka pesa fulani kuna kitu naweza fanya there is something i can do praise the name of the lord do you know proverbs that one says that this virtuous woman considers a field and buys it amen hata wenye amuja olewa hapa ukipata shamba nunua Wacha kusema nitangoja, nitanunua alafu itaenda wapi nunua. Ladies are you hearing me? Siangalii pande hii maana wazee wataki nihubiri hiyo injili. Naongea na watu wa pande hii. 
If God gives you grace to buy a land, buy it. Amen? Because it's the Bible. A virtuous woman who considers a field and buys it. Hallelujah. Consider one and buy. May you become those courageous women. And may you operate with wisdom and humility. Amen? Akisha is operating with a lot of wisdom. With a lot of humility. Na hata wakati mzee amekaa ni kama ashikanishi. Yeah, and I move. Now and I provoke the blessing that they needed. Hallelujah. Consider applying wisdom and humility in your operations and you'll go far. And because our time is up, I also pray that God will give us fathers like Kareb. Amen. Kareb provokes Othniel. Anaangalia Othniel na wale vijana wengine venye wamekaa naambia vijana ah mnakaa vibaya. There's some territories that we can take. Ana provoke Othniel. Na akili ameahidi Othniel. Ama akili ameahidi akisema mwenye atashinda nitampatia msichana. Mzee abadilishi card. Huyu hakuwa kama Jacob. Habadilishi cards. Hallelujah. Kile aliahidi anatimiza. Si Mungu atupatie wazee wa aina hiyo mahali hapa. Wenye wanatimiza maagano. Na kile wameahidia vijana wao. Kisha wakati msichana anakuja, baba ana design. Ana design there is something. This girl must have something. Na anamuuliza msichana wangu, what is it? And when the girl present a request, Mzee says, you have just asked for water, but I'm giving you both the upper and the lower springs. How do I pray that God will give us this kind of man who will not only give what your children need, but will go over and beyond what your children need because God has blessed you. May that become your portion in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And that brings me to the end of Kareb. Othniel and Akisha. Have you learned something today? Bow your hand, I pray with you. Father, I thank you for your word. Thank you for your servant, Kareb. Thank you for the young man, Othniel. And thank you for Akisha, the daughter that rose and made great impact in the life of her husband, Othniel. I pray over these men and women seated before me today that you bring them to the point that they will enjoy the blessings like the ones that Kareb enjoyed, like the ones that Othniel enjoyed, and the ones that Akisha enjoyed. Father, bless them and minister to them. And this is my prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. And now we can give to the Lord and give to the Lord our sacrifices, our substances. As we come to the end of the service, there are quite a number of announcements that are passing uh, through your screens. Kindly take note of these things that are passing down there on the screens. Tunaeza kosa kukupatia announcement vida unatarajia. But there are so many things that are passing down there on your screen. Kindly take note. Na nafikiri wana ata wabariki mkifanya hivu. Amen. Tunaendelea kupanga sadaka zetu. Ukiwa tayari si unasimama tu. Na tunaomba. Once you get ready, if you need an envelope, na shamanzi, takusaidia na bahasha. Na ukiwa tayari, utasimama, ili tuweze kuomba kwa pamoja. Na tukiendelea na kusimama, ni wakumbushe tu. Wanya mepeana majine ya watoto wao, kuweza uh, kuwa dedicated tutafanya dedication on 23rd 23rd of this month we shall do our dedication on 23rd of this month so prepare yourself uh, panga diary yako so that 23rd will be here and before then we'll have uh, an afternoon where we interact together tunapo jifunza na kujikumbusha what are we doing when we are dedicating our children but the date is 23rd na naamini tutabarikiwa kwa wanaume wote walio hapa nilisema ukiwa tayari simama tu nasema haya nikiwangoja msimame wale wako tayari kutoa sadaka kwa wanaume tukumbuke tuna conference next month at the headquarter we have a conference kings conference hii ni ya wanaume wote wenye wameoa na wenye hawajaoa kings conference it's next month i think it should be from 10 to 12 maxwell will be confirming the dates and the details he's the head of the kings atatupatia mwelekeo zaidi na december tuko na camp ya watoto wetu kule Nyeri 
Let's also pray and trust God for the camp of our children. Na tutabarikiwa tukiwanda kwenda nyeri. Basi kwa sababu wa angarao half of us are standing, let's pray for the offering. Baba katika jina la Yesu tuwasema asanti kwa matoleo yetu. Tunapo yatoa, tuwayatoa kwa shukurani. Na tunayatoa kwa moyo wa furaha. Tukikushukuru mano umetubariki. Pokea vipawa zetu. Na uzibariki unapobariki maisha yetu. Na ni katika jina la Yesu tumiamba na kushukuru. Amen. So karibuni wenye tumekuja na fungu zetu.